The Proto-Celtic language, also called Common Celtic, is the reconstructed ancestor language of all the known Celtic languages. Its lexis can be confidently reconstructed on the basis of the comparative method of historical linguistics. As Celtic is a branch of the Indo-European language family, Proto-Celtic is a descendant of the Proto-Indo-European language. According to one theory, Celtic may be closest to the Italic languages, which together form an Italo-Celtic branch. The earliest archaeological culture that may justifiably be considered as Proto-Celtic is the Late Bronze Age Urnfield culture of Central Europe from the last quarter of the second millennium BC. By the Iron Age Hallstatt culture of around 800 BC, these people had become fully Celtic. The reconstruction of Proto Celtic is currently being undertaken. While Continental Celtic presents much substantiation for its phonology, and some for morphology, recorded material is too scanty to allow a secure reconstruction of syntax. Although some complete sentences are recorded in Gaulish and Celtiberian, the oldest Celtic literature is found in Old Irish and Middle Welsh. Topic. Sound changes from Proto-Indo-European The phonological changes from Proto-Indo-European to Proto-Celtic may be summarized as follows. The changes are roughly in chronological order, with changes that operate on the outcome of earlier ones appearing later in the list. Topic. Late Proto-Indo-European These changes were shared by several other Indo-European branches. Asterisk e is colored by an adjacent laryngeal consonant. A h e greater than a h a. A h e greater than o h o. Palatovelars merge with the plain velars. K greater than k. G greater than g. Greater than g. Epithetic asterisk a is inserted after a syllabic sonorant if a laryngeal and another sonorant follow. R h r greater than rar. Laryngeals are lost before a following vowel h v greater than v. Following a vowel in syllables before the accent v h c greater than v c. Following a vowel with compensatory lengthening, otherwise v h greater than v. Between plosives in non-initial syllables c h c greater than c c. Two adjacent dentals become two adjacent sibilants t t greater than s s. Topic: Italo-Celtic. The following sound changes are shared with the Italic languages in particular, and can be used in support of the Italo-Celtic hypothesis. Debose rule: long close vowels are shortened, or a laryngeal is lost before resonant plus stressed vowel. I r. Asterisk IHR greater than IR UR Asterisk UR greater than UR Possibly, post consonantal laryngeals are lost before pretonic close vowels. Chic greater than CIC Chuck greater than cuck Development of initial stress, following the previous two changes. Possibly, vocalization of laryngeals to asterisk i between a asterisk cr cluster and consonantal asterisk j crhjv greater than crive. Syllabic laryngeals become asterisk a chc greater than cac. Syllabic resonance before a voiced unaspirated stop become asterisk ra r d greater than rad. Asterisk m is assimilated or lost before a glide. Mj greater than nj. Mw greater than W. Asterisk P assimilates to asterisk K when another asterisk K follows later in the word P, K greater than K, K. Senior greater than theta R, word medially R. SVs greater than SS, STVs greater than sone change shows non exact parallels in italic, the vocalization of syllabic resonance next to laryngeals depending on the environment. Similar developments appear in italic, but for the syllabic nasals asterisk m, asterisk n, the result is proto-italic asterisk m, asterisk n, greater than Latin m tilde im, n tilde in. Word initially, hr, c greater than arc. Before voiceless stops, cr, ht greater than crat. Cr, hv greater than carhv. Cr, hc greater than crack. Topic. Early Proto-Celtic 
Sequences of velar and asterisk w merge into the labiovelars. It is uncertain if this preceded or followed the next change, that is, whether g w greater than b or g w greater than g, k w greater than k, g w greater than g, g w greater than g, g greater than b. Aspirated stops lose their aspiration and merge with the voiced stops, except that this counterfeeds the previous change, so asterisk g greater than asterisk g doesn't result in a merger. B greater than B, D greater than D, G greater than G, G greater than G. Asterisk e before a resonant and asterisk a but not asterisk a becomes asterisk a as well. Era greater than era. Asterisk e l h r o greater than asterisk gelaro greater than asterisk galaro. Asterisk ger no greater than asterisk gerano greater than asterisk gerano. Joseph's rule. Epenthetic asterisk i is inserted after syllabic liquids when followed by a plosive. L t greater than lit. R t greater than writ. Epenthetic asterisk a is inserted before the remaining syllabic resonance. M greater than m. N greater than an. L greater than al. R greater than r. All remaining non-syllabic laryngeals are lost. E greater than i. O greater than u in final syllables. Long vowels are shortened before a syllable final resonant v, r, c greater than v, r, c. This also shortens long diphthongs. Osthoff's law Topic. Late Proto-Celtic Plosives become asterisk x before a different plosive or asterisk s c, c greater than x, c, c's greater than x, s p greater than b before liquids place greater than b, l P greater than W before nasals, PN greater than WN, P greater than, except possibly after asterisk S, O greater than A, EU greater than AU, UWA greater than OWA. Topic. Examples. Topic. Phonological reconstruction. Topic. Consonants The following consonants have been reconstructed for Proto-Celtic In contrast to the parent language, Proto-Celtic does not use aspiration as a feature for distinguishing phonemes. So the Proto-Indo-European voiced aspirated stops asterisk b, asterisk d, asterisk g, merged with asterisk b, asterisk d, asterisk g, g. The voiced aspirate labiovelar asterisk g did not merge with asterisk g, though, plain asterisk g became asterisk b in Proto-Celtic, while aspirated asterisk g became asterisk g. Thus, pi asterisk gn woman became Old Irish ben and Old Welsh ben, but pi asterisk gn to kill, to wound became Old Irish gonade and Welsh guanu. Proto-Indo-European asterisk p was lost in Proto-Celtic, apparently going through the stages asterisk, as in the table above, and asterisk h perhaps attested by the toponym Hercinia if this is of Celtic origin before being lost completely word initially and between vowels. Adjacent to consonants, Proto-Celtic asterisk underwent different changes, the clusters asterisk s and asterisk t became asterisk xs and asterisk xt respectively already in Proto-Celtic. Pi asterisk sp became Old Irish s lenited f, exactly as for pi asterisk sw and Brythonic f, while Shriver 1995, p. 348 argues there was an intermediate stage asterisk s in which asterisk remained an independent phoneme until after Proto-Insular Celtic had diverged into Goidelic and Brythonic. McCone 1996, pp. 44-45 finds it more economical to believe that asterisk sp remained unchanged in pc, that is, the change asterisk p to asterisk, did not happen when asterisk s preceded. Similarly, Grimm's law did not apply to asterisk p, t, k after asterisk s in Germanic, and later the same exception occurred again in the High German consonant shift. In Gaulish and the Brythonic languages, a new asterisk p sound has arisen as a reflex of the Proto-Indo-European asterisk k phoneme. Consequently, one finds Gaulish petar ios, Welsh pedwar, for compared to Old Irish asterisk cether and Latin quatuor. Insofar as this new, p, fills the space in the phoneme inventory which was lost by the disappearance of the equivalent stop in pi, we may think of this as a chain shift. 
The terms P Celtic and Q Celtic are useful when we wish to group the Celtic languages according to the way they handle this one phoneme. However, a simple division into P and Q Celtic may be untenable, as it does not do justice to the evidence of the ancient continental Celtic languages. The large number of unusual shared innovations among the insular Celtic languages are often also presented as evidence against a P Celtic versus Q Celtic division, but they may instead reflect a common substratum influence from the pre Celtic languages of Britain and Ireland, one, or simply continuing contact between the insular languages. In either case, they would be irrelevant to Celtic language classification in the genetic sense. Q Celtic languages may also have p in loan words, though in early borrowings from Welsh into primitive Irish, k was used by sound substitution due to a lack of a p phoneme at the time. Latin Patricius, Saint Patrick, greater than Welsh, primitive Irish Catricius, Old Irish Cothridge, later Padraig. Latin Presbyter, Priest, greater than early form of word seen in Old Welsh Premter Primter, primitive Irish Cremeter, Old Irish Cruimther, Gaelic Pog. Kiss was a later borrowing from the second word of the Latin phrase osculum passus, kiss of peace, at a stage where p was borrowed directly as p, without substituting c. Topic: <laughs> Vowels. The Proto-Celtic vowel system is highly comparable to that reconstructed for Proto-Indo-European by Antoine Meillet. The following monophthongs have been reconstructed. The following diphthongs have also been reconstructed. Topic. Morphology Topic. Nouns The morphology structure of nouns and adjectives demonstrates no arresting alterations from the parent language. Proto-Celtic is believed to have had nouns in three genders, three numbers and five to eight cases. The genders were the normal masculine, feminine and neuter, the three numbers were singular, plural and dual. The number of cases is a subject of contention, while Old Irish may have only five, the evidence from Continental Celtic is considered rather unambiguous despite appeals to archaic retentions or morphological leveling. These cases were nominative, vocative, accusative, dative, genitive, ablative, locative and instrumental. Nouns fall into nine or so declensions, depending on the stem. There are asterisk o stems, asterisk a stems, asterisk i stems, asterisk u stems, dental stems, velar stems, nasal stems, asterisk r stems and asterisk s stems. Topic. Asterisk o stem nouns Makkos son, masculine Old Irish Mac tilde Welsh, Cornish and Breton Map Dunham stronghold neuter Topic. Asterisk a stem nouns. E.g. asterisk llama hand, feminine Old Irish lamb, Welsh llaw, Cornish leuv, Old Breton lom. E.g. asterisk wolkas hawker, masculine Gallic Latinized volsi. Topic. Asterisk i stems. E.g. asterisk sulis site, view, I feminine Britonic sulis tilde Old Irish sweel. E.g. asterisk mori body of water, C neuter Gallic mori tilde Old Irish muir tilde Welsh mor. Topic. Asterisk u stem nouns. E.g. asterisk bitus world, existence masculine Gallic bitu tilde Old Irish bith tilde Welsh byd tilde Breton bed E.g. asterisk Danu valley river neuter Topic. Velar and dental stems Before the asterisk s of the nominative singular, a velar consonant was fricated to asterisk x, asterisk rig, king, greater than asterisk rix. Likewise, final asterisk d devoiced to asterisk t, asterisk druid, druid, greater than asterisk druids e.g. asterisk rix king masculine Gallic rix, Old Irish re, Middle Welsh rhi, Old Breton re, e.g. asterisk druids druid masculine Gallic druis, Old Irish druy, Middle Welsh dryw, druid, wren, Old Cornish druw, e.g. asterisk carnux carnix masculine, 
e.g. asterisk Karen's friend masculine Gallic Karen, Old Irish Cara, Welsh Car, kinsman, friend, place Sariant, Breton Car, relative, place, Karen. Topic: Nasal stems. Generally, nasal stems end in asterisk on. This becomes asterisk u in the nominative singular. Asterisk aben, river, greater than asterisk abu. E.g. asterisk abu, river, feminine Welsh afan, Breton obs, Avean, Scottish Gaelic abain. E.g. asterisk anman, name, neuter, Gaulish anuan, Old Irish ainm, Breton anv, Welsh enw. Topic. Asterisk s stem nouns. Generally, asterisk s stems end in asterisk s, which becomes asterisk os in the nominative singular. Asterisk tegas house greater than asterisk tegos. E.g. asterisk tegos house masculine Irish teach tie Welsh tie Breton tea. Topic. Asterisk r stem nouns. R stems are rare and principally confined to names of relatives. Typically they end in asterisk ter, which becomes asterisk tier in the nominative and asterisk tr in all other cases aside from the accusative, asterisk ater father greater than asterisk atir, asterisk atros e.g. asterisk atir father masculine e.g. asterisk matir mother feminine Topic. Verbs From comparison between early Old Irish and Gaulish forms it seems that continental and insular Celtic verbs were to develop differently and so the study of Irish and Welsh may have unduly weighted past opinion of Proto-Celtic verbal morphology. It can be inferred from Gaulish and Celtiberian as well as insular Celtic that the Proto-Celtic verb had at least three moods. Indicative. Seen in e.g. first sg. Gaulish delgu. I hold. Old Irish tongu. I swear. Imperative — seen in e.g. 3rd sg. Celtiberian usabitas, Gaulish apicetu Subjunctive — seen in e.g. 3rd sg. Gaulish butid — may he be. Celtiberian asicotian four tenses Present — seen in e.g. Gaulish uediu me — I pray. Celtiberian zizanti — they sow. Preterite — seen in e.g. 3rd sg. Gaulish Syoxi, Lepontic Karit Imperfect — perhaps in Celtiberian Kombox, Atibian Future — seen in e.g. 3rd sg. Gaulish Bisiet, Old Irish Bead — he shall be. A probable optative mood also features in Gaulish and an infinitive with a characteristic ending unei in Celtiberian. Verbs were formed by adding suffixes to a verbal stem. The stem might be thematic or athematic, an open or a closed syllable. Example conjugation scholarly reconstructions may be summarized in tabular format. Conjugation like asterisk beer o bear carry flow conjugation like asterisk mara greaten magnify enlarge. Topic dating. Proto-Celtic is mostly dated to roughly 800 BC Hallstatt c. c. Celtic languages. In the first decade of the 21st century a number of scholars addressed this question using computational methods, with differing results. Gray and Atkinson estimated a date of 6100 BP BC, while Forster and Toth suggest a date of 3200 BC plus or minus 1500 years for the arrival of Celtic in Britain, but such early dates are not generally accepted. Topic. See also Pre-Celtic Italo-Celtic Beaker culture Urnfield Hallstatt culture Latine culture Goidelic substrate hypothesis Ligures Azillion Topic. References Notes Bibliography Cowgill, Warren 1975. The Origins of the Insular Celtic Conjunct and Absolute Verbal Endings. In H. Ricks. Flexion und Wortbildung, Akten der Verstagung der Indogermanischen Gesellschaft, Regensburg, 9, 14. 
September 1973. Wiesbaden, Reichert. pp. 40-70. Evans, D. Simon 1964. A Grammar of Middle Welsh. Dublin, Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. Forster, Peter, Toth, Alfred July 2003. Toward a Phylogenetic Chronology of Ancient Gaulish, Celtic, and Indo-European. Proc. Natal, ACAD, Sci. USA 100 9079-84. Bibcode, 2003PNAS.100.9079F. doi, 10.1073.PNAS.1331158100. PMC 166441. PMID 12837934. Gray, Russell D., Atkinson, Quinton D. November 2003. Language tree divergence times support the Anatolian theory of Indo-European origin. Nature. 426 6965-435-9. 2003 Natur.426, 435G. doi, 10.1038, Nature 02029. PMID 14647380. Hackstein, Olav. 2002. Euridge. Asterisk ch. cc greater than asterisk c. cc. Historisch Sprachforschung, 115 to 1 minus 22. Lane, George S. 1933. The Germano-Celtic vocabulary. Language, 244 to 264. Doi 10.2307/409353. Matasovic, Ranko 2009. Etymological Dictionary of Proto-Celtic. Leiden Indo-European Etymological Dictionary Series, 9. Brill Academic Publishers. ISBN 978-90-04-17336-1. McCone, Kim Towards a Relative Chronology of Ancient and Medieval Celtic Sound Change. Maynooth, Department of Old and Middle Irish, St. Patrick's College. ISBN 0-901519-40-5. Peterson, Holger Vergleichende Grammatik der Keltischen Sprechen, 2. Band, Bedudingsler Wartler. Göttingen, Vandenheck and Ruprecht. ISBN 3-525-26119-5. Shriver, Peter the Celtic adverbs for against and with and the early apocopy of asterisk i, eriu, 45 to 151 minus 89. Shriver, Peter, 1995. Studies in British Celtic historical phonology. Amsterdam, Rodopi. ISBN 90-5183-820-4. Shriver, Peter, 2015. Pruners and trainers of the Celtic family tree: the rise and development of Celtic in light of language contact. Proceedings of the 14 International Congress of Celtic Studies, Maynooth 2011. Dublin, Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. pp. 191-219. Thurnison, Rudolf 1946. A Grammar of Old Irish. T.R. D.A. Binchy and Osborne Bergen. Dublin, Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. Zare, Nicholas 2012. The Reflexes of the Proto-Indo-European Laryngeals in Celtic. Leiden, Brill. Topic external links The Leiden University has compiled etymological dictionaries of various IE languages, a project supervised by Alexander Lobotsky and which includes a proto-Celtic dictionary by Ranko Matasovic. Those dictionaries published by Brill in the Leiden series have been removed from the university databases for copyright reasons. Alternatively, a reference for proto-Celtic vocabulary is provided by the University of Wales at the following sites. Proto-Celtic to English Wordlist PDF English to Proto-Celtic Wordlist PDF